Double right. After 11 years at Letcher, the past seven as offensive coordinator, Dwayne Jenkins is now the head coach at St. James. How did his first spring practice go? Find out after this. Brock's Automotive and Tire Center is your one-stop shop for all your vehicle's needs. We're right along the river in reserve. Brock's Automotive and Tire Center with 24-hour towing service. It's how the Dwayne Jenkins era was ushered in, head first with passion and enthusiasm. Hard to believe this team has gone 0-19 over the past two seasons. We have to change what we've been doing in the past. We need to be enthusiastic. we got to have fun, and that's the biggest thing. I just think for sometimes, some teams, we go into spring practice and it's a grind, and people want to grind it out, and it's, and it's that necessary evil sometimes people talk about. I want the kids to come out here and have fun, because what's, what's more fun than coming out and play football? We had nice weather. Uh, we were just trying to structure practice in a way that we were getting a lot of teaching done, but at some point we allowed them to have some fun on that first day. Besides the newfound enthusiasm, the overall numbers is what stood out on day one. Some 80 players now on the Wildcat roster that finished last season with around 30. Seniors to be wide receiver Daquan Sandoff and running back Rashawn Dennis have lived through the tough times and already can see a change. It's a more upper tempo and we starting to have a lot of contact, you know. And we ain't had that the last two years. We didn't have contact where when we play in the game, you know, it'll be like practice, you know, because they say you practice how you play. And if we don't hit hard in practice, you know, how would, we, how would you expect for us to play in the game? Well, this first practice, it's been amazing because we got way more people than last year, people more dedicated, and we're playing as a team. And our motto is win the day. So once we win the day, we're trying to win the rest. I like the leadership that we have in this team. I think. Uh, Daquan Sandoff and Rashawn Dennis and Taylor Dennis on offense did a, did a good job today. I think uh, Jason Favorite and uh, Jawan Lumar and Tevin Groen, Angelus Washington on the defensive side are doing some good things over there to, to kind of give us some uh, leadership on that side of the ball. So there's some positive things there that I'm seeing. Uh, I just think that the big thing is you can see the kids are enthusiastic. They're excited to be out here, and uh, we, we're going to change this thing. I think you saw some of y'all. We had some highs and lows up and down in practice. We had good tempo at times. We had some bad things happen at times. We got to get consistent. And that's the name of the game. We got to change some of the things that happen culturally here. Some of the things that were allowed to happen aren't allowed. Some of y'all picking up on it. I hear guys telling other guys, when you're on the field, keep your helmet on. That's something simple. When you're in a game, if you're on the field between the white lines, your helmet's got to be on. We sprint everywhere we go. If we're going to jog, we're going to jog on the sideline. And some of y'all have picked it up. Some of y'all were with us enough during the spring from January to now to understand what those expectations are. Imagine what they'll be like once the games start. In Vashery with St. James, I'm Eric Ritchie for RiverParishFootball.com.